Oh, there seems to be one over there. Hello? Let's get it. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty convinced this place is haunted now. I guess it's just part of the set if I am in a movie, but it feels very haunted overall. It feels like the movie never haunted. It feels as if the movie never happened and I'm just looking through the set before they started recording. Or before they would have recorded. Or this is after they recorded and everyone left and I'm still here and I'm rambling. A performance for the ages. So that looks very, very slender man-ish. If even. A roadway, airworld. Hotel closes its finest season. A performance for the ages. Uh, uh, acting, if done well. Oh, I can do this. Acting, if done well, is a scary business. It takes immense courage to lose consciousness of your own self and not just reenact, but become the character you are portraying. Few can muster that kind of courage. It's like me in horror games like this. Where I try, where I sort of sink into the game, and I become the character I feel. I fuse a bit, and yet it happens. To which, after last night's visit to the majestic theater, I can personally attest, as my regular readers know all too well, I am careful with words and not the easiest critic to please. Having that said, the play's lead performance left me speechless. Utterly fearless, the acting by unintelligible name was nothing short of transcendent. I, I suppose someone transcribed this or someone wrote this down as some spoke. <laughs> uh, it was as if the person on stage dissolved before my very eyes, letting the character burst into existence. Page turn off. Or maybe they just couldn't write a name. Oh, oh yeah, because it's this, they remind me, because of the ink or so. Let's spread. Yeah, this is German, the Der Deutsche Correspondent, is it? Für die Frau, for the wife, or, or for the lady. Depending how you look at it. So we have German newspapers then. I have at least one or two Germans who consistently enjoy and watch my content, so kudos to all of you. <laughs> Is this properly? There we go. In the bathroom, it, look, it feels like, well, it's old fashioned, but it feels less like on a ship than I guess it would feel like these days. It feels like an actual building on land. So imagine being on here and you've, you probably wouldn't feel the shaking so much because it's a probably a very big ship, but still, you have this little handle here too. Well, in case it does get shaky, coat there, but for some reason, it sold me. This is probably when I, we're building the ship then, putting on the propeller. This big ladder over here. It always is a tiny bit uneasy for me to watch, well, large ship's propellers because you see the tiny people and just the propeller is like so much bigger than them. It wasn't so big as I imagined it would, but it's probably just one out of many propellers instead of just being one or two. Maybe there's four. Maybe there's more. But that's enough rambling about that particular subject. Let us see if we can investigate this one spooky door that just closed open and then closed again. It's now it's locked. Right. Oh, I'm 
ladder. <laughs> Closing right in front of me. Not like it hit my nose even. <laughs> Holy. Oh, this is very atmospheric. What a sunlight or moonlight shining in. I suppose it's sunlight because we did see the sun. Or unless it was a sundown, then this is, would be the moonlight. It looks like the moonlight based on based on the color of the light. But could be wrong. I could be wrong, as I often am. Because it's just me. It always gets me. Always. <laughs> I suppose you are a radiator of a kind. What's this? Or it's steam. Or it's weird. <laughs> it's like a ghostly mist. Wherever there's a ghost that mists, there's a haunting. Now then I let your lighter so you don't fall down again. Just roll there and Guy's the got a reputation. Makes his actors jump through hoops before he even lets them on the set. Supposed to be some new method of building the character. Bunch of artsy fartsy bullshit if you ask me. Just go with it. Guy doesn't take no for an answer. Suppose a strict director then. The director is the one that has a bad reputation. It's creepy noise. It's just some creepy noise. I, I suppose it's natural noise for a ship this size and this age. But still, makes me feel like this is actually modern age 2019. And this is just a ghost ship from the past, but yeah, I have no idea if this is an, even a dream, maybe. Okay, did the history just repeat itself? This is just... okay. So what if the guy's a little nuts? He's a director. He comes with a job. <laughs> I mean, what's he gonna do? Kill ya? I'm very bad with the English language. And it's a plural numbers of accents, but I was wondering, is this maybe the New York um, region, maybe? New York accents or somewhere around those parts? If so, I'm getting better. If not, it's back to step one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, the other, in the front this time. But I, don't, I don't like this. Are you gonna fall again? Are you gonna shatter or something? Oh. And what's this? I think it's all an act. Yeah. Okay. It's all an act. Okay. Well, it was. They were talking about mask. Uh, an actor being a mask. An actor has to be someone who's who they're usually not. If memory serves me right, but it does make sense. That is, after all, what an actor is. I'm not going to disagree with this actor's analogy. Is that what they call it? Anomalous analogy. From Icarus Transatlantic Security Office to all officers. Most of you are already aware of the Hollywood motion picture that is going to be shot aboard our vessel. We are sending you detailed guidelines as to which decks are to be restricted for regular passengers. Quote. <laughs> Above all else, the film crew and cast are not to be disturbed. Okay. So. It's amazing if there's both crew and passengers on this ship. And just feels like a ghost ship. Nice. They're doing a good job of not disturbing in that case. Well, it feels very unsettling. Why is everything dark? Where? How can I make the light go on here? And what is this? Oh, there's lots of floodlights. Are these cameras? I think they're cameras. No, they're floodlights. Never mind. <laughs> a globe. Is the world drowned? Is it just water?
The play is badly cast. Runs the stage. Okay. Not everything in the world is meant to be filmed. I saw always away. Saw a shadow here. I suppose that's the director talking. That's a bit creepy. Always away in the darkness. I suppose that's just manner of speech, but I guess maybe I should take it literally as well. I am surrounded by darkness. Uh fumbling in, in darkness. Okay. I can't see anything. Oh. This looks oh. And what is this? Can I even go back here? No. Do you remember? It, I thought I saw like a silhouette again behind here. He was standing just here between these two lights. What do I remember? Huh? But is there a shadow behind me? However. I feel very... is this my shadow? This is my shadow, but I feel I see another shadow as well. I'm going insane. I am totally going insane. I don't think turning around. <sighs> okay, there's... maybe I didn't go to this other... Where I, I, I can only see silhouettes of something that looks maybe like an elevator or something. But there's nothing. I'm being very... I'm stumbling in words. I'm being very paranoid right now. Look. Glow pyramid. The world told you who you should be. Do you remember who you were? Before the world, before society told me who I was? <laughs> I will make you remember. A director isn't supposed to brainwash me. Well, maybe temporarily, but it sounds like you are a bit more extreme. Holy. Damn. Ooh. It's like this is after hours. This We are not recording, but he's taking me through random sets to talk to me. To show me. His ways. Oof. As if there's a ghost director. <laughs> that voice, though, holy damn. So many have tried to be part of my greatest work. As if there was ever a choice. Do. Um. Duly? Oh, only one can bring this character to life. Only one is broken enough to build it, so I guess the director sees us as the perfect candidate for his play. So are we still being tested for this movie? Is this your ominous audition? Locking doors behind me, making me go forward. Just testing me. I believe in you. Ooh, what? Hello? Um, director viewing the scene or something? What? That was a female voice. Uh, from my judgment. <laughs> a happy son. Well, I guess a child drew this. It's... It's cool. Nice. It's probably better than I ever drew. I actually drew houses and flags and boring stuff. I wasn't even creative. And it's a happy painting. It gives emotion. Makes me smile. Bird cage, hmm? With a pirate eye, eye, eye patch, pirate Wake eye up, patch. Mr. Hardy. We've got to get out of this godforsaken prison before we rot. Okay. What's Ooh. <laughs> yeah, 
if this is all a scene, this is what they used to lower and raise scenes and <laughs> I don't know this theatre stuff, but 365 or 365 days a year, yeah? There's Microsoft Office 365, their newest subscription-based Office product. Excuse my rambling. 365, I, oh, this is maybe a codem. Five, shall we try this? Okay. That's quite a code. Hmm. Shoo. Well, I guess it, that's a way to cover up the pipes and everything. It looks like doors, though. Doors are big shelves. I mean, the only thing that differs these from the other doors is that there's no knob on them. Not a door knob. Other than that, they look just like doors to me. Okay, a mannequin? I guess to show a set, an example of a set, how the actors are supposed to sit. Are we the director now, for some reason? It looks like this is gonna spin. And there's a square on the ground. Shares hoisted to the ceiling. <laughs> Creepy. You're pointing? So the smart on the ground, what are you? Am I supposed to stand on it? This is a practice for me. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Ooh, that gave me shivers. <laughs> this old music, which probably sounds peaceful and nice, but in the distorted, faint way it's playing, it's, it's, it's very unsettling, to say the least. Oh, oh, I have to place this there then, okay. Yeah, let's slow you down. And I guess place you here. Oh, oops. <laughs> well. Oh, I can slow you even more. I can, oh, I can make you stop completely. Let's try this. Nope. Okay, a little bit more. Oh, come on. <laughs> Now, uh, well, this director seemed like he want, wanted perfection of everything, even to the point of madness. Oh. I don't want to overdo it and do another round. Uh, what? Really? Are you kidding? Let me see. There we go. Oh, yikes. <sighs> Happened to you. Everything just falls apart or even blows apart here. 
well, let's have a look over here at the next set. We we'll just start. Who's controlling this? What? <laughs> Director's chair and the yelly yelly <laughs> megaphone, I believe they're called. Remember her. Ah, uh, is this like a way to talk to me? Do you remember her? These images, memories of you, they've been haunting me. And yet you cling to them, because without me, you have nothing. Very well. This noise from the light over there sounds like do 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 do. It's probably just me. E. Well, there's one of the hats from the dressing room, I believe. And here is the dressing room, or one of them. <laughs> okay. I guess it shows where I'm supposed to walk. This is logged. Wow. A little thingy over there that directors usually use, traditionally speaking at least. Cross. The next marks the spot. Oh, I was supposed to stand here when something happens, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I thought you were making a very creepy horror movie, jump scare based horror movie. Where, where you have what? This just scramble. This scrambled a lot by the looks of it. You moved. You were down there. Uh, a new X. A new jump scare place. Well, you know, I have to be an actor, I have to act scared. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> oh, this opened. What are you? I'm back, Mahardi. Scouted out the whole area. Looks like there's a trail we can follow. A trail? Aye. Left by fellow pirates, no doubt. To lead us to a safe harbor. So, a pirated child. Maybe the same child of Judy. Sun painting. Not painting. Drawing, I mean. Uh, <laughs> and creaky creak uh, are we going into harsh waters maybe because there was a lot of creaking in this big big ship all right x marks the spot <clears throat> open sesame i guess this marks where i'm supposed to go in the scene of the movie, what? Oh, a pipe. Hmm, <laughs> I'm going to bed. And... I... Oh. Time and description of activities. 10.05pm, break is over. 10.30 p.m. Last repair technician leaves the ship through the gangway on E deck aft. 11 p.m. Patrolling the waterfront along the ship. 11.27 p.m. 
on patrol near the cargo area. Saw a shadow move. Small. Most likely a child. I gave chase but could not find anyone. Line circled in red. <laughs> 12 a.m. Watch over. So I suppose this kid or I believe two kids judging from the little... I'm not sure if I want to call it a flashback. But a vision. Maybe. See, maybe they are the blind passengers. They just ran aboard. We just wanted an adventure. Two. Or those, not grammar from players, but the other things, the wax players, or what they are. Um, oh, this actually looks piratey, even. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, I suppose this marks someone shooting someone else. Is this what he referred, oop, referred to as someone being... Um, Having a sad destiny or so. There she is, Mr. Hardy. The fastest vessel ever built. Ready to set sail for the land of the flame. I don't see any sails. Shh. We must make our way aboard. Quietly. We must take over this ship quietly. I have a feeling that judging by this over here, um, he stands like this. I imagine when I go over there, I'm, I might die on the X or so. This is probably gonna be a bit loud. <laughs> what is this? A or some sort? Hmm. Well, this goes off anyway. But I'm coming from there. I guess I should be coming from there, but. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go here. Oh. A set. Set on a ship. Not bad. Is seaweed then or so? I like the waves. Alright, aboard we go. Is the director here? Are you gonna turn on the sets? You show me something? Ooh, nice. I can. Ah, but still, <laughs> nice. All right. Ooh. Ahoy me mateys. What are y'all looking at? Get back to work. Woo. Aw. Very advanced and there's a shark in the water. I believe. Two sharks. That's just my assumption Assumption that they're sharks. Could be something else. Two sharks over here as well. Let's not jump in there. Let's hope that this doesn't sink. Although it looks a little tilted. There's also a hatch here. Oh, I can't go here. Why are you laying there? Huh. Oh. I, uh, no, I want to go in. I want to go in. This is cool. Uh, Ooh. Well, I thought I saw something red going up. Am I seeing things? Am I seeing things? Avast, Mr. Hardy. Too many of them scurvy dogs to take head on. Hmm. Lily, I want to go home. Aww. Quartermaster, steal yourself. Be your heart soaked in doubt. Or be there a fire burning within. I guess they really love this place. Look at all the gold coins. There's quite a treasure to scavenge for down here. Cannon chips. There's an arrow pointing that way. And an arrow here at the key. 
All right. <coughs> it felt like it was shooting directly at me. I guess it, that's a cannon. Yeah. Huh? Oh, it's from a fire. The fire is what I saw. Oh, hey. And the burning sun going down. That's quite a bit big. Why does it feel like everything's on fire? Maybe it's just sunset. A very powerful sunset. I swing towards the sunset. <laughs> or swing away from it. From it. <laughs> oh, there's a bell here. I didn't see you. 